Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a great song off of Let It Be album today. Um, we're going to learn how to do two of us. So this is a great kind of kind of vocal harmony thing uh, that Lennon and McCartney are doing. And I just think it's a really fun song to listen to uh, and a fun song to play. Really simple to play too. So um, it'll be a, a lot of fun just to kind of get this underneath your fingers and, and sing along with them, I guess. Uh, before I get into it, though, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And ring that notification bell so you know it's a new video. And uh, if you see one of my videos pop up, please like it. <laughs> because it, they're really really making this uh, a thing on YouTube. If you, if you don't like videos, don't get a ton of likes. They don't let anybody know it even exists. So please, help me out here. Um, like and comment on it, too. That really helps, too. And uh, yeah, and even watch the video. Crazy thought, I know. Anyway. If you like what I do here on YouTube and you want to support it even more, the best way to do it is join my Guitar Academy. You're going to see a link to it in the description below. Um, that link will take you right there and give you a free seven day trial and you get to try out my Academy, which contains all of my guitar courses. You get full access to all of them being a member with just one membership. And from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training theory, you get personalized support from me. Plus we have weekly video chats that are just me and Academy members. So you get all your questions answered every week that, uh, while you're going through the courses. So I hope to see you over there. Let's jump into this. So I'm in standard tuning here and we have this little intro here. It's kind of fun to play. Uh, so now how McCarty plays this on the recording and how he does it now is slightly different. So. That's how it's on the recording. So what he's doing here is he's playing the uh, uh, seventh fret on the G and then the seventh fret on the high E string. So just go pick across this from the G to the high E twice. Then you're gonna pick now the high E again, back to the G string seventh fret, and then when you go back to the high E, you're gonna have it open. So you're gonna pick that note up. So it is. I didn't repeat that. So he continues that when, you know, uh, Lennon comes in uh, underneath it. So how does McCartney do it now? If you see him play it live now, he does this. He plays that, instead of the open high E string, he plays it at the fifth fret on the B string. So you'll see him do that a lot. Like that. But on the recording, it's an open high E. Which I think sounds better. So just kind of like that. So while he's doing that, then in comes a... Uh, so <laughs> that's 0, 2, 4 on the D string. And then just into a straight... Just trying to strum it on this G chord. Now this is the G chord that is uh, has the open B string, so it's important. That doesn't sound that great with it. It's... Gotta do cowboy chords. Anyway, so when he's doing this rhythm, he's kind of kind of he kind of accenting the upstrokes. All right, then we get to the actual vocals coming in, and they both do kind of a similar thing here. Um, but you kind of hear more. You're, you're going to hear a lot that high notes being held by Lennon the whole time, and I like to keep it going too. So it looks like this. So that's just that G. Now here you can do it like this. But you 
can, if you listen close on the recording, he's holding that high note the whole time that Lennon is. So it's, it's good to keep it there since it's on the recording. So we have it's just it's, when you play from the, when you move to that C major chord, just play a C major, but keep that note on the high E string, that third fret. So just like that, and then you're gonna move down to the second fret on the A, open D, open G, first fret on the B. Still keep that note there. But he doesn't really hit that note when he that transition chord. He's just kind of really focusing on those lower strings. And then when we get down to the A minor, so you're still going to hold this note, which is going to make it an A minor 7 chord. And we get a little bit more of a active uh, strumming pattern. So it's kind of like this. Here's the chorus, uh, I guess. I don't know, maybe not. So yeah, we're So that is kind of a weird timing, obviously. Um, uh, but when, if you follow the vocals, it's not that weird of a timing. This is also something that when I watch more recent videos of Paul playing it live, he plays slightly different. So he actually changes the chord progression a little bit. Um, so anyway, so on recording though, we have this. That G to the D. Then there's a C major chord played real quick before you get back to the G. So we have this. So when they say way, you're going to hit that C major chord. So with like then repeat that. So when you see him play this live now, he doesn't actually play that C. He just goes. I don't know why. It sounds a lot better with the C. Uh, but um, anyway, we're, we're playing it like the recording, right? So we had this. And then we're going to go straight to the C. Let's strum that a little bit more. And then we're going home. And then back to the G. So we have this all together. is going to be the exact same thing again and in the same chord. All right, then we have this bridge section which happens a couple of times and this is where they're going to play separate things. Um, so you can hear some of the of the voicings of the chords have the fifth in the bass and that's what I believe is what Cart McCartney's playing there. So um, and then you have some higher voice with some little kind of quick strum hits, which I believe is what Lennon's doing. So anyway, McCartney's part first, looks like this. You and I have memories longer than the road that stretches out ahead. So that is just gonna be a, it's a B ma flat major chord, right? So, um, so that's the first first fret on the A, then barring the third fret across the D, G, and the B. But what is added here is the fifth in the bass. So you hear that on the recording. So just play the first fret across the A and the low E string. You and I have memories 
Then it goes to a D minor chord, and we have the A in the bass on that one as well. So that's gonna be just a D minor, regular D minor, but you're gonna have the open A string in the bass. And then from there, we're gonna go to a G minor bar chord. So it's gonna be a, a bar across six strings there at the third fret. You're gonna play the fifth fret on the A and the D in front of it. Kind of a worse. And come feel, then move up to the A minor chord. Now, he does play this up here when he's doing it live now. He could have maybe gone back to an A minor here, which would make more sense. Uh, because he does, live now and on the recording, go down to this open position A minor chord from it. So you can choose to kind of start with this G minor here. Because Lynn is going to be doing the bar anyway. So if you want, we have this, this G minor chord to an A minor, the open chord. I'm just saying, if you see him play that live now, you're going to see him play the A minor here. Um, but then when he gets to the A minor 7, he jumps back to the open position. Uh, but you can go ahead and get there if you want. Um, but anyway, so complete this thing. Just wanted to mention it if you, if you, if you see it live. So the A minor stretches out. Then it goes to an A minor 7. So you're just going to pick up that note on the G string. And then it goes from there to a, to a D7 chord. So open D string, second fret of the G. First on the B, second on the high E string. So, like I said, that A minor you can choose to play here, which is two frets up from that G minor, same shape, or play it here, because it does go to the A minor in that position. Um, so if we did it like that, it looks like this. Uh, uh, here we go. You and I have met. Now, what does Lennon do there? So he's playing the same chords, but he plays different voicings of them, and he does it, he kind of does this. So it's the same chords, just different voicings. So we're gonna start with this B major, B flat major chord here. So full bar to the sixth fret. 7th fret on the G, 8th fret on the D, and the A. And a little quick little flamenco -y type things. And then same thing here, we're going to go to the D minor chord. So instead of this here, full bar the, at the 5th fret because you can still have this A in the bass like we're doing here in the open chord. And then you're going to have the 6th fret there in front of the bar on the uh, B string, 7th fret on the G, 7th fret on the D. And then, kind of some quick strums there too. So. And then we're going to they kind of do the same thing on this G minor here. And then Lynn is going to take that chord shape up to A minor. And then he's going to get to the A minor 7 just by picking up the note on the D string, so now it could be the fifth fret on the D. So that's how he gets his A, a minor seven instead of going back here like uh, McCartney does. And then this D seven chord, he's also gonna do it here. And that's just still barred the fifth fret, and you're gonna in front of that play the seventh fret on the B and the seventh fret on the D. Kind of a little more active strumming on that too. So we have this all good. And that's about all the parts of the songs. It goes back to this. It's a pretty simple, uh, kind of simple song for the Beatles. Um, and, you know, it still has it. It's really fun to play. It's, it's fun to play. If you got somebody who can sing with you and doing the harmonies, it's, it's a lot of fun. It sounds like they're having a lot of fun if you watch the videos of this documentary. They're obviously having a lot of fun uh, playing through it as well. All right, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.